everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Morph Catherine. In the last episode, we were in stage two, the prison of despair, and we did the first and second floor. Now, the third floor is a boss fight. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to everyone on the landing, and then we'll go onward to the boss. I found this out just... Yo, have we met before? You survived because of the techniques I used. Tell me something. Let me show you another great technique. Allow me to explain suspending. This technique gives you more room to maneuver. Push a block off a ledge with nothing below it. As long as the edges connect, the block will remain in place. How's that? I'm a regular blockologist, huh? Hmm, that's a good start. Try to remember this one, too. Allow me to explain pullback. If you climb up and find yourself stuck, try pulling a block and backing down. By creating a stairway as you go down, you will be able to go higher than you could before. Yep. You knew that? Yeah, I knew. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, this kind of stuff has to become second nature to you. I know. I can't just rely on my natural reporter's instinct. It's the truth. Just techniques, huh? I guess the trick is to learn as many of them as possible. Okay, you find any new moves, you come straight to me. This is coming from the executive manager. All right, so let's go talk to this guy over here. It, it's that sheep again. <laughs> I'm not a sheep. All the sheep here are really human. Really? What? Really? I I just pushed two sheep a little while ago. Way to go. Congratulations, you're a jackass. All right. Hi, guy. I saw a sheep fall past me on my way up. I, I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you'll hear is your own death scream. You can stay here. But even this place will fall eventually. What's with all the cubes? I don't understand any of this. What should I do? Please help me. You just gotta climb. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Oh, come on, teach me. Anything. Maybe this will help. Allow me to explain the tornado. If blocks are stacked all over the place, calm down and pull them out one by one. Move them aside and bring them down like a tornado. Then make a staircase and climb. Whoa! Is that how you climb? Wow, you're amazing. Oh, I think I can go on a lot I hope longer. so. God. All right. Uh, oh, there's a couple more sheep over here. And I'm pretty sure you can buy stuff from this guy, but I don't need to buy anything. Hey, are you the same as me? Were you put down here by some trick? Why were we chosen? Do you know anything? Come on. How can I survive? I don't know anything either. Listen, if you want to live, then climb. That's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gotta stay calm. <sighs> calm. Freak! <laughs> and fluffy at the same time and it's coming right at me <laughs> snap out of it there's nothing like that anywhere near here the monster talks oh fuck oh fuck oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> he thinks we're a monster crazy asshole all right let's go into the confession <sighs> you're here lost lamb you'll be answering another of my questions i've had enough of this a man's worth can't be measured by a single question. This is the second question. Honestly, are romance and marriage just annoyances to think about? Honestly, uh, I I love it, but I'm gonna say I hate it just because I want a Which certain one? ending. You've made your selection. I knew it. I'll answer your question this time. Little lost lamb, this entire place is an immense sanctuary. There are eight floors. This is the second night, and only the second floor. Wait, so does that mean there's an end to this? If I can get to the end, I don't have to die? Don't get your hopes up. You'll never be able to reach the pinnacle. Anyway, listen. I hear the sounds of your night terrors approaching. <laughs> are you ready? like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? 
And up we go! It's a boss fight time and I need some Dr. Pepper so I'm gonna move some stuff around to my desk real quick. There's candy there and mm, a yummy diet Dr. Pepper. Okay, other players answered! Dun, 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 and those are the first answers of percentage and blah 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 of other online players. There you go. Alright. You ready guys? You ready to see the first boss? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? I'm ready. I know what it is. I'm not gonna spoil it. Oh my god! Okay. Stage 2. Prison of Despair. The final floor. You Here on the scrape. Dun dun dun. I won't What is this? No, it's not. It's a giant hand. Fist of grudge. The, fists of grudge. the fist of grudge, guys. We got this. Dun 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 Change the blocks. I don't want that item. That item uh, gets rid of all enemies. I'd rather keep the creative block just in case if I need to get somewhere. If there's an enemy in the way, I can just shove them out of my way. No, my controller! No, 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 no! Come on, turn back on, turn back on, turn back on, thank you! Okay, after this episode, I gotta change my batteries. My controller's almost dead. Come on! Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going! Keep going, keep going! We're going up and up and up and up and up! No, you stupid hand, leave me alone. I'm so mad right now. My controller is dying. Go, 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 go! Or no, that, that item doesn't get rid of all enemies. It, it changes blocks back to normal. That's what it does. I'm sorry. Go. Go. Go, Lori, go! Go! Go, go, go! I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! Good thing this boss is really easy. Otherwise, I'd be dead. Woohoo! What are you gonna do about it, you big giant fist? Is it gone? I'm safe, right? Yeah! Yay! Happy face. The first boss is the easiest. They get a little bit more complex as we get into later stages. So uh, keep that in mind. I mean, this is only like the second stage, so it can't be that difficult. just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's supposed to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 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 
simple Dad. episode. Well, uh... What is it? <laughs> Whoa! You... you all right? Yeah, thank you. You're so kind. Uh, I was... Uh, sorry. Uh, 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 well, I uh, have to work tomorrow, so I need to get home. Oh, mm -hmm. I had fun tonight. Oh, oh. You must like what you see. I'm not staring. You're a bad liar. You taste like smoke, <laughs> but I don't mind. Ha! <laughs> you don't say. That's naughty. That's even naughtier. Holy shit. Oh man, this is not good. Hmm? <gasps> what is it good? Well, uh, you know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Hmm. Huh? Um, is this gonna be a problem? So, okay, I cheated on Catherine. This is bad. This is really, really bad. But I didn't make a move. She forced herself on me. Oh, fuck, man. I drank way too much. Ah. Uh, would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. Huh? Oh. Oh. So, how do you feel about me? Huh? Oh. Wow, um, I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel odd. Hmm? You see, this is my first time. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. And I am really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight? Huh? What? I'm sorry. I'm really... You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, I guess... Dentist. Okay, see you soon. Hey, wait. I'm actually dating someone already. Oh, this is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake. Ah, you know what? It just hit me. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with the girls. I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have. I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Eh, if you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> Well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pic. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? 
Because she's my type. Oh. <laughs> I am so fucked. Hey, have you heard the rumor about the dream where you're falling? Huh? Who cares? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. Anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one-night stand. Hey, you paying attention? Listen, man. saw the girl oh really I figured one of you guys told her to sit with me eh, if this girl was cute you definitely remember you know I gotta say because of you jerks I never get a chance to date anyone if I was a ladies man I wouldn't be here every night with you guys anyway you dig the older chicks don't you yeah I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Shut up! I'm not like that! What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So, did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Oh, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them. Or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. No, oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Cheating is pathetic. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. Who are you calling pathetic? Shut up and eat your peanuts. Ow, my eye! Huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling about cheating and shit. I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. Let's just leave me alone. Well, well, come on, tell me about this girl. Oh, God. Apparently, she's destiny level cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. Coming right up! You're in trouble, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha ha ha, shut up. I'm done fooling around. Alrighty! <laughs> Start to open the menu. You can see hints on how to spend your time at the bar. You can change the difficulty of the nightmare stages from the config screen. All right. So as you 
obviously just saw, we can actually get up from our seat and walk around and talk to people from the bar and it helps pass time and when time passes we receive more text messages and all that good stuff. However, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up. If you guys would like to support me because like to see more of Catherine, remember to leave likes, comments, and favorites. All this stuff really does help me and I really appreciate it. In the next episode, we're gonna talk to everyone around the bar, we're gonna text Catherine a little bit and all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys very, very soon with more of Catherine. Bye guys!